extremely uh, rousing speech, Mr. Galloway. Um, I won't deny that Israel has committed many atrocities, but wouldn't it perhaps be better if Hamas relinquished all its weapons and maybe adopted the philosophies of Gandhi uh, and, and fought Israeli violence with words and showed the world that it is the victim and it is this tit-for-tat violence which is portrayed by the Western media? Well, um, the vast majority of the Palestinian people have no weapons. Have never fired a weapon at anybody. But in 61 years, you know what? It hasn't saved a single house, a single olive tree, a single piece of land from settlement or destruction. The Palestinian Authority, first under Arafat and then under Abu Mazen, rolled out endless concessions to Israel, signed away a significant number of rights and the vast majority of the land of Palestine and they didn't get jack in return. So I'm unpersuaded that if the Palestinian people gave up their fight to return to their home, gave up their fight to get their country back, that Israel's heart would melt and that justice and amity would break out. I'm unpersuaded of that because the fundamental lie on which Israel is built is this, that the Palestinian people never existed. And their very existence haunts Israel. Golda Meir, the Prime Minister of Israel, as late as 1968, said, and I quote, there is no such thing as a Palestinian. But of course everyone now knows that there is millions of Palestinians. I don't want them to be able to. We'll wait till 10 o'clock with questions. So if we don't get to you, I we apologize. Go ahead. Mr. Galloway? Yes, sir. Hello. Um, Thank you for the adulation you expressed for our President Obama. That's appreciated. Uh, the President has $900 million and more to give to Gaza. That would do a lot to build homes and take away, as you say it, the rubble. There is a great wall, though, called Hamas, who refuses to recognize Israel, the people, or a nation, which means that the money that they sorely need to build that infrastructure and those homes will not take place. You say you're going to Gaza, so what would you say to Hamas to allow this aid to come to them. Please have your seat, sir. You must go back to your seat. Okay. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, let me correct you. It was not adulation for your president. I'm not guilty of adulation of any man. I worship only one God, but I am, but I am hopeful that President Barack Hussein Obama will change American policy towards Palestine. And you know what? I think you're probably rather afraid that I'm right. Now, I'm not a supporter of Hamas. I said that earlier, I say it again now. I have never been a supporter of Hamas. If I had a vote, it wouldn't be for Hamas. I'm a supporter of the hero prisoner Marwan Barghouti in an Israeli dungeon, who one day will be the president of South Trust me. But it's not up to me or you to choose the political leaders of the Palestinian people. It's not. You know, no more than it was the right of 
Dutch people to choose the President of the United States. You have to live, I'm assuming you're an American citizen, you have to live with the political leaders chosen by other people. Why should the Palestinians be any different in that? And if your $900 million is conditional on the Palestinian people surrendering, well, keep your $900 million. <laughs>